Shalom, yeah. Dad. Shalom. Shalom, Dad. Greetings from Africa, Gambia. Yes, yes. So I guess I'll go first. Sure. Dad, um, we're excited um, that you are celebrating 80 amazing years. Um, I wish that uh, we were together um, and uh, there with you. Are, are you all here with us? <laughs> Let me see. I have to be honest, see, right? Um, but uh, I know this is a special day. Um, and I just want to say, as your middle daughter, I am so grateful for everything that you imparted in me. Um, I am now in Africa um, living a dream um, that um, I never thought I could. Um, I am uh, using some of the skills that you taught me in regards to gardening and living off the land and uh, becoming self-sufficient. And um, I just want to let you know that um, all of the things that you taught us and poured into us, um, it's, it's actually, it's producing and, and we're reaping. And I, I want to say that um, the house, the, the land that you wanted uh, with the pond in the middle and all of our houses around it, it's very attainable here. And, and we're gonna hold it down until you and mom get here. Uh, until then, you enjoy your day. Okay. okay. Yes. Well, well, as I was said, you know, 80 is a is a big milestone. Um, you know, I'm sorry that we aren't there to enjoy it with you, but we are there in spirit. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the support that you've given us over the years. I know I came into the family at a very young age, and actually, you've been like a father to me. You know, because I've been around you since I was 18 years old. So, you know, that's a lot of years. And, um, you know, we've worked together. We've laughed together. Um, we laughed at some Jerry Clower together, <laughs> you know. And I laughed at you when you uh, got a hold of that man at the, uh, at the front of the store that day. <laughs> I, I remember that. I, I'll never forget that day. <laughs> so, um, you know, again, you know, I hate that we're not there with you. But just know we are there with you in spirit. And again, may the most high favor you on your 80th. Shalom. Go Chiefs and, <laughs> and Cowboys. Okay. <laughs> See you soon, Dad All and right. Mom. <laughs> shalom, shalom, family. All we're here. Welcome to another episode of Our Journey Towards Eden. <laughs> been wondering where uh, we have been uh, we had to take some time off and I am actually standing here with a very special man in my life this is my father and uh, I've been here uh, visiting uh, my mom and father for I've been here about a month yes. and yes and um, so uh, I'm going to just uh, let my father introduce himself and I'm going to just share something that we've been doing together while I've been visiting. My name is Johnny Ware Sr. and I am the proud father of Abba. 
Yes, okay. And I'm the proud father of, of Johnny. So uh, the reason why I wanted to do this interview, because one of the things I've done since I've been here is uh, started a garden with my father. And I remember the times where you had a garden every year. Mm-hmm, sure did. Yes, and you made us uh, uh, get out in the garden. Yes. Uh, every Saturday. That was before I started, uh, grew up and started honoring the Sabbath. But anyway, uh, we were the only ones in the neighborhood who uh, would be out um, uh, in the garden. Right. So uh, being in Africa now, I really um, appreciate what you taught us. Um, can you tell me uh, why? Why is this so important? Well, for to, to have a garden. Oh, you, you talk to me now? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. uh, you maybe not living on the garden at all the time, but in case of, you know, uh, extreme emergency, uh, time get hard, uh, just good uh, pure fr uh, fresh vegetables, you need a garden, you know. Mm -hmm. you know. You know what you put in the garden, know uh, what kind of fertilizer you use and, uh, and just everything is uh, is natural mm -hmm. so a uh, garden is good to have because you you, you control your own uh, vegetable diet mm -hmm. yeah so yeah you know, so it's, I think it's very important and it gives you some kind of skills yeah where you know where, you know where you can take care of yourself that's right mm -hmm. that's right so I also remember when um, I was young, or we were young, you used to buy a cow. You remember that? Uh, you used to buy a cow and take it to the butcher. Yeah, to the, to the market, yeah. and, and, and they steal half of my meat. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. they, give, they take my, they take my, my top quality meat and give me some old sauce. Oh no. Sawbone. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah. You never yeah. told yeah, me well, that. Well, you don't tell. You, not you don't tell everything, but. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but it, it was me, you know, yeah. and, and it's something that, you know, yeah. we needed and we, you know, enjoy. It. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Dad, that really reminds me of Gambia. You know, you can get your fresh, um, you know, um, um, meat, whether it be chicken. You get the chicken off the side of the road and take it home for dinner and, and you know, partake mm. of it in, 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 in less than an hour. Right. Well, <laughs> and, Go ahead. Well, farming and, and uh, garden raising was just in my blood when I was small. The other kid was out, you know, doing other things that the kids do. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, raising chickens and mm -hmm. building chicken houses and, and uh, raising gardens and doing things that, that that helped me, you know, after I got, you know, of age and, mm -hmm. and, and got a family and everything. So, yeah. So I just kept on doing what I was doing after I got grown. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I think just um, that, uh, just that little bitty tidbit of uh, upbringing really prepared me uh, for, um, you know, this phase of my life. Right. And uh, it's not a time go by that I'm not having my hands in the dirt and thinking about you know, my childhood and what you gave to us. Well, man. Yeah. I'm very proud of, of her. She, she's a very uh, blessing to the family. She, she uh, as she grew up, she acquired a lot of good quality you know, upbringing that, that should prolong and to uh, help her to reach her goals in life, you know. so. I am very proud of it, and, oh. and, and I support her 100%. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, All so right. real quick, let's take a look at the garden. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. okay, so, okay, family, so here's the garden. So this first row, Dad, What? what's the first? The first and the second row is all what? Uh, I believe it's uh, squash, cucumbers, or one. No, the first two rows. First two rows is... Peppers. Peppers. Yeah, yeah. The, peppers. Yeah, yeah, the first two rows yeah. are peppers. Yeah, right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then, uh, what's, uh, what's the, the tomato the, plant over the, there? The, third, the tomato plant is on the third row. Uh huh. 
the and, third and, and uh, we got onions planted in between mm -hmm. uh, each one of the uh, plants mm -hmm. to kind of you know balance it a little bit you know? yeah uh -huh. yeah and uh, we got a uh, I think squash on the side. Mm -hmm. second second I mean third and fourth row uh -huh. and uh, uh, I was planted everything uh, you know she was uh, 100 percent in favor of everything I did. Matter of fact, she changed my mind on everything I tried to do. She <laughs> <laughs> she straightened me out on it and everything. So we plant this uh, garden together, and I'm sure it's going to be very productive. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh -huh. it, it was one of the highlights of my uh, trip is getting in the garden and just um, you know learning some knowledge from you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, like because you know. Uh, we're just now getting on our land and able to do some things, and I can't wait to start my garden. Okay, and I, 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 I'm, I'm uh, anxious to hear, you know, the results of, uh, you know, your house and then your garden. Mm -hmm. you know, because I know, take pride in what you do. You normally do it well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Dad, do you think you ever want to come visit Gambia? Uh, never can tell after I get. Say 105, 110 years old. I might <clears throat> decide to come and stay a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Okay. Oh, you got to stay longer than a couple of weeks. Well, you know, I might, <laughs> I might stay forever. I like it. Though. Yeah, you have to stay for at least a month. Oh, okay, that sounds. Okay. Good. Any advice to the viewers about um, uh, planting gardens and? Well, well just uh, uh, follow the signs and uh, season. And listen to Ava. She's uh, she's pretty <laughs> <laughs> she's pretty knowledgeable. You know, uh, if you're not doing the right thing, she'll straighten you out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, she'll straighten you out. So just just listen to her and follow her instruction. You can't go wrong. <laughs> okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. That's funny, Dad. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this uh, <coughs> video, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, well, thank you much, everybody, and and make much love to whoever viewed this, you know, and I hope that you acquire something that will help you in the future. Awesome. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Love sir. you. Love you, Susan. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, family, you're looking at the garden four weeks later. My mom sent me these pictures saying that my father visits the window every day in awe of the garden. Did you ever know that you're my hero? I love you so much, Dad, and see you soon in Gambia.